welcome. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This video is specifically for all the people that attended the Women in Power Expo on November 9th and heard me sp speak at the event. This video is for also anyone that is coming across my channel for the very first time. My primary goal today is just to give you an in-depth explanation of what I cover on this YouTube channel, my primary goals for you financially, and ways that we can work together and partner up for future goals, future partnerships, collaborations. So at the event, we covered cash flow, revenue, and profits during our session together. And I may have not had the amount of time to really expand on the things. Maybe I just gave you some you know, key pointers or some fundamental principles to start following. And so in this video, I just want to take a little extra time to expand on those thoughts that we may have shared together during our session at the Women in Power Expo. So the three concepts that I cover on this channel is velocity banking, infinite banking, and kingdom authority. These three concepts combined together help you pay off debt rapidly, increase cash flow, build your credit, lower expenses, create wealth, and build a legacy, or what I like to call a kingdom, that will literally last forever. It'll go into generations beyond your imagination, um, really establishing something that cannot be destroyed through your influence, through your wisdom, your knowledge, your passion, your love, and your purpose in life. And with these three concepts, they help you really, really fortify exactly what it is you want to build in this lifetime. So velocity banking is my job. This is what I do on this YouTube channel. I, my core service is really helping people pay off all their debt faster than debt snowball or debt avalanche using your same amount of money that you make, just leveraging the money properly and using good debt to pay off bad debt and keeping all your cash flow in the process. So that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is just constantly create content around velocity banking. My long-term career path is infinite banking where I help people establish and create wealth using high cash value life insurance policies where we can do exactly what we do in velocity banking, leveraging good debt from banking products. And we actually establish our own bank, our own private tax-free bank that we can leverage ourselves to finance things, um, make investments, save money, and actually earn money tax-free all while doing it, right? So we do that through life insurance. And then my purpose in life is to establish kingdoms for moms all over the U.S. and abroad. My passion is helping moms acquire their kingdom authority, their authority over their household, master their finances so that they can be influential and really inspire a generation that cherishes and protects women all around the world. Some of the financial principles that I may have went over with you guys is the 70-30 rule, which is really you want to live on 70% of what you make on a monthly basis and you want to set aside 30% for taxes, giving, and saving. Giving can also be your tithe if you are a part of a church or you're Christian. Um, very important to have these things allocated in advance when it comes to your personal finances. And not only are you doing it because your church told you to or, you know, it's something that you learn from, you know, family, but it's actually a principle. It's a fundamental universal law that cannot be ruined. If you implement it properly from the heart, the amount of results that you get is better than any investment you can ever make in any product, service, or business. By you simply having the discipline to save money, to hold on to money for a certain period of time and be able to execute that money properly is a gift that most people never acquire. The second one is giving giving 10% of what you make, giving to something that's out of your hands, something that you can't control. Simply, you're just giving from the heart to either help an individual, help an organization, help a church grow. 
you're planting a seed that you have no idea what the expectation of the return is, but the fact that you gave and you gave from the heart, the blessing already begins to occur in your life, meaning you'll literally get 10 times whatever you gave, right? And that can be more than 10 times when you actually look at the overall results once the blessing starts to come through. And if you're able to identify the blessing, that's another gift that you have in your life. And these little things can really mold you financially to move forward in life, to do things properly, and teach your kids at a very young age. I'm 23 years old and I'm doing this stuff now. So you can only imagine what my future kids are going to experience, that discipline. And if you're in a family or you grew up in a, in, in a family that does not have this discipline, well, you can be the very first that implements it. And this is what I'm talking about, building a kingdom that will last forever, building principles and laws that cannot be ruined. Once they're molded in, it's just like a bad habit. All we're doing is removing the bad habits and replacing it with some good habits that will affect your life in many good ways for as long as you live and even after you're gone. So on this channel, when I'm working with clients and I create videos, the four most important numbers that I need to know to help you in your finances is your monthly net income, your monthly expenses. I usually like to overestimate on that number. Your total debt, okay, all across the board, everything, total debt. And then your leftover cash flow. Cash flow meaning the amount of money that you have left over after all your bills, living expenses, debt payments, saving, investing, taxes, everything. After all of that has gone out, what is left over? That is what we call free cash flow. Money that is not going anywhere that we can use to accelerate something such as maybe your saving, to accelerate your debt payoff, or to accelerate your investments. The next thing that we try to acquire on this channel for everyone that I work with and all the clients that I have to implement velocity banking properly is we look for what's called debt tools. This is good debt that we can acquire using our good credit score, okay? And the three main tools that I like to acquire for you are credit cards, a line of credit, this could be a personal line of credit or a business line of credit. And the third thing is a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. Not a home equity loan, but a home equity line of credit. That's, this applies to those that have homes with equity inside of them. That can be an amazing tool that you can use to accelerate your mortgage, to accelerate your student loans, car payments, etc. And the last tool is referring to the infinite banking concept being cash value life insurance. Literally establishing the same type of debt tools, but for yourself. Imagine being able to borrow from yourself and actually earn money on yourself tax-free. And it also comes with an ever-increasing death benefit as a backup. Pretty powerful when you design it properly. So the primary goals when we're doing Velocity Banking together is we want to increase your cash flow as fast as possible. We want to pay off debt as fast as possible. We want to build credit. Building credit happens simultaneously as you're paying off debt and managing your money properly. And then finally create wealth, which I like to 10x your results or 10x your income. So whatever monthly income that you're making right now, if I can just 10x that number one time, right? I mean, your life will change dramatically, right? So if me personally, I 10x my income. I went from making two grand a month to 20,000 a month. And that has put me in a whole new tax bracket, a whole new environment, and a whole new way to influence people, right? And it really gives me a lot of power and authority to really address people with that confidence that's, that I can say, hey, I can help you because I got the results for myself. And you can do the same. You can have that same authority with the people that you collaborate and talk with every single day or people that you work with. So when it comes to money, there's only three ways to use it. You can either save it, spend it, or invest it. And what Velocity Banking says is that we're able to do all three at the same exact time, which poses a question that I wanna ask you is, 
can you use one dollar more than once if you can answer that question properly you're going to be opening a new set a new way of thinking a new way of being when it comes to your finances because if you said yes to that question then you're on your way to successfully implementing the velocity banking concept infinite banking and building your kingdom if you said no then there's a barrier that we need to break through because if you still believe that one dollar equals one dollar in the 21st century then you got another thing coming okay because in reality that dollar doesn't actually equal anything it has no value whatsoever it's not tied to anything that has any value other than the full credit of the United States basically their word right and this is how other developing countries function the same way it's just fiat currency the money has no value okay now with that being said if money has no value then if I'm not using money then money is useless okay especially if I'm not using that money properly now if money can be used more than once one dollar more than once then there has to be a tool that helps me do that and that's where we get with the debt tools being able to use other people's money first to either pay off debt, increase cash flow, or make an investment, which I'm going to get a higher rate of return or a recoup of cash flow back into my finances, then that puts me in a better position to execute that $1. So in my personal finances, whenever I am making an investment, before I use my cash that I earned, I'll pull from a credit card, maybe a line of credit, or my cash value life insurance and I'll send the money to that investment first where I'm gonna get an investment back I'm gonna get a rate of return or I'm going to get a lump sum back and then I still have my cash right here that I'll use to pay me back whether it be from my credit card my line of credit or my cash value life insurance and what happens is I never lose my cash flow in the process and I get that rate of return. So if you're able to comprehend money that way, you're gonna do very well in the 21st century. If you do not comprehend money that way, then you're gonna live your life either spending money, saving money, or investing money. You're gonna be doing one of the three. You're not gonna be able to do it all at the same time, especially if you're like most Americans who do not have more than five grand in their savings account and they live paycheck to paycheck right so you're at a disadvantage if you are splitting your money right we want to be able to use that money all at the same time and achieve those goals because like I said they're principles you do need to save money you do need to pay taxes and you do need to give it's instinctive things that just make sense in a successful economy and if you practice it properly you're gonna get the results that you want in your life so money is useless without purpose and what I like to do when I add on to my personal style when I'm helping people with their finances is letting you know that all money requires a purpose you have to give your money purpose and value because it has no value so you have to give it purpose you have to give it a reason so that you are motivated to achieve those things that you gave that money purpose to and to finish up this video I want to give you a small picture example of how the velocity banking actually works okay so looking at this triangle this is how money works for the wealthy this is how money works for average Americans that do not understand this concept is they make money they pay bills they have money left over then they save it invest it or spend it whereas here for the wealthy we have income that comes in here before I use income the money that you make in your own personal finances to pay bills or pay debts we actually come over to this side and we use our debt tools to actually pay a debt off which is gonna save me a ton of money on interest and increase cash flow, build credit all at the same time. And then the cash that I have here, the income that I would have used to pay here, 
I'm actually going to send all my income back to the line of credit. I'm going to send it back to myself and pay nothing in interest over here or very little to the point where I literally offset my borrowing cost, right? Velocity banking makes sense when I can offset my borrowing cost. And what ends up happening is instead of doing what everyone else does in the world, which is they take their cash flow and they just make extra payments towards debts, which is a great strategy, it works, no doubt at all. But if I told you that doing debt snowball, instead of paying off your mortgage in 30 years, that we could pay it off in 10 to 13 doing debt snowball, and then Velocity Banking comes around and says, hey, I can do the same exact thing that debt snowball does, but a lot faster, a lot more effectively, and actually decrease your timeline to about five to seven years. Would that pique your interest? Of course it would. If I could pay off my mortgage one year faster, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to obviously hit that goal or all my debt overall, right? So when we're looking at the velocity banking concept, statistically over the four or 500 plus examples that I've ran so far with, with clients and people on my YouTube channel and the videos that I've recorded is that on average, I'm able to go almost 50% faster than what debt snowball does, right? And here's the great part is there's not a hundred different strategies out there in the world when it comes to paying off debt. There's really only three. You either do debt snowball, debt avalanche, and now velocity banking, right? And velocity banking is also including the infinite banking. They're the same thing. They're the same concept. It's just one with infinite banking comes with an actual product that you can actually keep for yourself for your whole life which is the actual end goal, is when we're doing Velocity Banking together, eventually I wanna transition into infinite banking so we can start creating wealth while simultaneously paying off debt, right? So it's simply leveraging money. That's what we do on this channel, that's what I like to teach all day long, is how to leverage money in the 21st century so that you can excel in your finances and build that kingdom for your household. So I wanna encourage you to watch more of my videos, get a better understanding of the concept, spend some time on it. You're definitely not gonna get it in one video. It definitely took me over a year and a half to really master the concept and actually another additional year to start teaching it. So I'm with you along the way. I'm young, I'm 23, I got a lot to learn but a lot to give. And if you enjoyed this video, reach out to me and we can have a nice conversation together. If you want to become a client, I have some services in the description below. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have classes that I do with Velocity Banking, Infinite Banking, and Kingdom Authority. And I also have a video program. That's a very affordable course to take to get a deeper dive on these concepts so you can apply it for yourself. The beautiful thing is that once you learn this concept, you never have to pay anyone ever again to continue to apply the concept. Once you get it, you get it. You're on your way. So it's a valuable tool that will last forever and that you can teach your kids. And like I said, that kingdom lasts forever. My name is Denzel Rodriguez. You have a wonderful day and God bless.